Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching VZAM Tutorials. So, so far in my last videos, I was explaining about the different concepts of VZAM, what is VZAM, what are the characteristics of VZAM, and what are the advantages of VZAM, and what are the different kinds of cluster we have. We, I mean, we have like ASDS, ESDS, RRDS, and LDS. And what are the different component it has, like data component, index components, and we have seen like what is control interval, control area, control split, and so on. So today's uh, today in this video, I would like to show you how do we actually create this KSDS cluster. Okay. So how to create a KSDS cluster? So you all know like uh, uh, what is control interval size control area and control interval right so this uh, in this video this video shows you practically like uh, what exactly a data component and what exactly a index component what a data component will store and what an index component will have what a uh, base will do i mean cluster base will do okay so you have to define you have to write a jcl separate jcl and with the help of a uh, ibm utility supplied program called idcams you are going to create this ksds cluster so the first parameters you would be passing to that particular program that is a defined cluster and you have to give your ksds name and the tracks or a cylinders so it is about the space Oh, the space parameters you need to give that is tracks and the volume where you want to create this cluster and the free space as you know that you need to specify a free space whenever you are dividing creating a KSDS if you remember RDS CIDF concepts about uh, when I when I was explaining about the VZAM just if you want to refresh just go back to my previous videos and just watch it and come back to this okay so volumes record free space record size the uh, the size of your VZAM file and key in order to show uh, what the key you want to specify it and specify the length of its okay phi and the starting position and since the KSDS have an index component so you have to specify a index and next control interval size by default it's 4096 so let's go let's go and connect to the mainframe and see how do we create the cluster okay so now I'm connected to the mainframe system okay so as usual I as I said you need to write a separate JCL for this okay I'm created I created a separate JCL for it I and also said like with the help of ID cams that is the IBM supplied utility we are going to create this case this cluster so in the step one I wrote a exit program ID cams then you have to define your different parameters that will be passed as an input to this program and it's the data set curve and uh, the VZAM files got created. So this is the method one of creating these KSDS cluster. So we have two methods uh, of uh, creating this cluster. This I'm showing the method one with the help of ID camps. So and this just I'm trying to define only the cluster name. So as you know, the VZAM is divided into a cluster, a uh, data component, and index component, right? So just I'm trying to define this cluster name: tracks, volumes, free space. My record size is of 80 bytes. It is a fixed block, fixed. Uh, I mean, fixed VZAM file, and the key it's a five bytes. It's, it is since it is a KSDS index component and a controls interval size. So let's submit this job and see how a VZAM file gets created. So it ended with max is zero, and I'm trying to go to spool and see and verify. If it is being successfully created, says print to define ID CAM system services and the date time. You can see data allocation status for volume is zero. At the same time, it has created the data component and also index component. That's great. So just we have if we only specify this, you can also create this. Okay. Now I want to see to go to uh, go and see at the 3.4. Okay. So you can see a cluster name and the data component and the index components. You all know, right? So data will store only a data, and whereas an index component will store a key. So uh, whatever you specified, so data component will store up to a maximum of 80 bytes, and the 
uh, that is the actual data will store in this and uh, index component that is a key these five bytes key that will be stored in index component if you want to show if you want to try to retrieve the key just browse it if you want to write try to uh, retrieve the data just browse this data component so okay so with this set we have successfully created our data set of method one okay and, and also said like there are two ways of creating this data sets right so I'm going to define another thing second method of creating this data set so what is the second method so this as usual the ID camps will remain same and the defined cluster name volume free space everything will remain same so I'm trying to add a different data name if you want to write your own data name so you can give you can specify own data name over here so, I mean it is it is it is here it is trying to overwrite the data name so here earlier it was starting with m1.data m1.index right so if you want to write something else you can write anything over here okay so test.vsm.case is just m2 data and index or uh, whenever you specify this data component you specify control total size over here okay so now let's run this step 2 okay I'm trying to restart it so that it won't get run the first step okay okay just submit it okay it ran with zero and let's see uh, we'll go to spool okay I'm going to spool and then we'll see if it has been created successfully okay you have specified it data allocation status for zero index allocation status for zero function completed highest code indication code was zero okay in earlier you have seen a different message right so it was showing you a different message over so here the system has by default it has created C next generate name generated D name generated I so whereas here you cannot see this message right here okay see here it says like data allocation status data allocation status okay so these are the two different ways of creating uh, your VSAM KSJS file so you can see a data component and an index component over here okay so so this is how we create a KSDS cluster thank you so much uh, for watching this video I'll be coming up with a couple of videos on practical and theoretical so in order to don't miss uh, my latest updates or latest postings on YouTube channel just say just click on the subscribe button or a logo button over here to in order to subscribe it so that you will get day-to-day -day alerts and uh, email notification to your inbox so don't miss it so thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great and pleasureful day